where he watches the cats at daycare. They call his TV. They'd leave him there for like an hour plus at a time. He just sit there and stare at him. He'll usually start wagging his tail, just locking eyes with any that'll look at him. We'd be walking, he'd see a cat, and he'd just stop, and he'd freeze. Archie. If I start pulling real hard, he'd throw himself down like an anchor. Archie. Why can't you just be normal? Be normal. You see a cat, and then you lose the ability to walk. We had wanted a cat for Archie, and we actually came from a close friend of mine. So uh, I kind of jumped at the chance well, we had to keep him separate for a little bit because he was so hyped. Oh my god. You're alright, B. He has no idea where you are right now. I don't think he knows what to do with himself. Because I don't think up to this point he's had a cat actually come up to him. She can be a little spicy sometimes. He'll put his head on something and look at you, and that's Archie asking for permission. His tail is just ever so slightly wagging. Like, he's really hopeful that she'll be like, yes, I give you permission. <laughs> I think that she might have been getting a little bit annoyed with the realization, like, you really aren't going away, are you? I think once she realized he wasn't going to stop paying attention to her, she kind of just accepted it. I think that that was like a pretty pivotal moment. That was the first time that they had ever just snuggled on their own. It still catches us by surprise. <laughs> on Archie's block, he will walk with them. <laughs> it's just been a really fun dynamic to watch them grow and become closer. It's like yin and yang. complement each other in a lot of ways. We're just so happy that we could give him the cat of his dreams. They were meant to be in the same family.